this was the trailer. Oh. Late night. Waking up in places with no memory of how I got in there. It was out of control. I didn't need another mugshot in the fucking tabloids. Had I already done the show? Was that a recording? Oh, this is real life stuff. Moving on. Oh! I think they show this at State of Play. Good to see you, Alan. Great to see you. Welcome back to the show. Come on. Come on. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. <laughs> Woo! It's like a Jimmy Fallon kind of thing. <laughs> it is so good to see you, Alan. Uh, uh, this must be an exciting time for you. Uh, tell me, does it ever get old? Why does he look familiar? What get old? That guy. Are you okay there, my friend? You look like you've been cooked up in the writer's room for a few weeks. He looks familiar. He actually. Where is he from? Or yeah, where is he from? Where 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 have I seen him before? He looks very, very fucking familiar. Hold on. I just see this. <laughs> I mean, yeah, they did say that. It looks like a Lance Rigic, but it's not him. No, I, that's not what I mean. It's... David Harward. He's from Supergirl! That's where I recognize him from. He's from Supergirl. Yeah, he, he looked familiar. This is exactly how I feel. <laughs> you know is it just me or is the audio... Off a little bit. Hold on. It was like so low. I waited so long to get my hands on the sequel. <laughs> sequel. All right. You know what? We're gonna turn up the we're gonna turn up the audio up again. Maybe it's dialogue. You left us on there we quite go. the cliffhanger. We've all been dying to know what. Yeah, he's it's from Supergirl. It's an ocean. That's what I figured. You and, you and me both. Well, our wait is over. Your new book, Initiation, hits the shelves mm. tomorrow. <laughs> what? That's exactly what every reader will be asking. This book is mind-bending. It's so surreal. The hardcover. I mean, how would you describe it? The hardcover. Like auto-fictional thought experiment, a, 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 a horror story, a postmodern detective Yeah, he story. does, actually. Like, this isn't right. I, I haven't written anything. He's so humble. Okay, you got me. Good prank, very funny. But yeah, I sad to say, I, I, I've not written this. I, I'd remember if I'd written a book, right? Or maybe it was written by your evil... Because he has those pointy ears. I knew he was from Supergirl. Oh, well played, man! That is spot on! Playing the role here! Pretending the world of the book overlaps our own? That's very meta indeed. Mm. You see, Initiation tells the story of a fictional writer named Alan Wake, who is trapped in a nightmare, desperately trying to find the manuscript of a novel he has forgotten he has written. The book is set in New York, but it might not be New York at all. Mm. He is tormented by his dark doppelganger, guided by visions of the fictional detective he has written. That's right. Alex Casey is in this book as well. Uh, I guess we'll just keep doing this the whole show. The joke's on me. But isn't that what you sign up for with auto fiction? No, but seriously, I found the, uh, the structure of the reality you build in the book fascinating. It reminded me of The Matrix. <laughs> I mean, the writer is physically what a coincidence. Room, trapped there. And he projects himself out to this dark dream of New York through the story he is writing. Uh, like astral projection. Did I get that right? 
Yeah, that's exactly right. Go on. I should be taking notes here. This is great stuff. Notes to that other Alan Wake in that room writing this as we speak? Are we all in your story, Alan? <laughs> oh, God. What's up, Shinobi? No, I, I, I wish you every success with your <sighs> new book, Alan. I hope it's a success. Oh, dear. Best selling <laughs> Casey series. Like, legitly. Initiation dear. hits the shelves tomorrow. After this, I'm sure we'll all be eagerly awaiting the culmination of this hero's journey trilogy of yours. A book called Return, perhaps. <laughs> Man, thank you for one of the strangest interviews of my entire career, Alan. <laughs> Always talk of that. Oh my god. Expecting to disappear once this scene ends. Oh no. <gasps> Oh, I'm in the... Oh. Hello? Hello, my darkness friend! Elizabeth, something's not right here. Hmm. I needed to get home. To Alice. The old gods of Asgard figures. From the first one. What the hell was that interview? Some kind of joke? Initiation? I never wrote a book called Initiation. This felt like a bad dream. Could make a good horror story. Yeah, now you say it. Yeah, of course. Horror story, why not? Uh, I'm not sure what the backstages look like. Nope, can't go that way. Old Gods of Asgard. Old Gods of Asgard. That name sounded familiar. Uh, from the first game? 665 Neighbor of the Beast. Oh, yeah, those, those guys are my favorite. Fan room. What was that? What is this? I didn't close it. There we go. The door. I was a mess. I'd never heard of this talk show or Mr. Door before. <laughs> None of it felt right. Was I losing my mind? Er. Okay. Hey! I think I've been locked in! Anybody! Fuck. Now I have to find the code myself. What was it? Five, five, six? Hold on. Six, six, five. Six, six, five. Six, six, five. No, five, five, six. Six. Oh, fuck sakes. Hold on. Six, six, five. See? I knew! I didn't- I didn't need help, love! I got it! Haha! <laughs> I got it. Hands down. I got it. Okay. There was something here. A broken transmission I couldn't quite make out. What was that? A message? Uh, you? Impossible to say. Obviously. Would it not be you? Sure. I-, I I was looking at it and I was like, yeah, so that's what it is. In the between, in the between with Mr. Door. Don't give me the bush. I don't deserve the bush. Bridge. It'll just be a bush. That's not my problem if you be a bush. Uh oh. There I was grab. something in the studio with me. I had to get out. 
I gotta get out of here. Oh, I can't get out. Oh, it's coming. Shit. Oh, shit. This is a little too loud. This is the ritual to meet you all. Drowning man gasping for air. This place felt familiar. Um, a ghost of a memory surfaced about riding here for countless days. Is this our memory? Or, yeah, is this our memory circle? Or. I like, I like the FBI one better. What's this? Craft. A plot board for mapping out a story. On the index cards, the nightmare that just happened to me. A summary of the story so far. But other notes as well. Warnings. I had written them. I couldn't remember what it all meant. The name Scratch filled me with dread. That I could trust these words. Scratch seems familiar, I though. Had to act on them. You must write to escape. Plot board. Waking up a uh, waking up of a nightmare. I talk I had the talk show. I had thought I was home in New York, but none of it. I felt right. I was trapped in the dark place, a nightmare beyond the world. The writer's room was my safe heaven. My write writing affect what was outside. I, I was. I had to write more. I'm trying to read this. Uh, trying to write a story to escape the place. The story was called The Infern. With the story, I've written a project, project myself, how to look for a way to escape. I've tried many ways, or tried many times, failed. This place made me forget. Everything Dor had said had felt true. It was part of my writing or coming from somewhere else dark place trapped you must write to it okay. I had to keep writing write our hearts out or to write something Take, 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 I didn't take, remember take, much, take. but I knew my thoughts and ideas could manifest as reality in this dark place. I'd use my writing to project myself out of this room, like a deep sea diver to go deeper and explore the depths of this prison for a way out. This room was my boat. Writing was my lifeline. I would start again at the talk show. Here we go again. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you're too kind. Welcome back. Uh, we have a great show for you here tonight. A real treat for all you Alex Casey fans out there. Alex Casey himself is here tonight. That's right. Family. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Welcome back to the show. So, oh, he is there. As the uh, creator of the character, how do you feel about this? <laughs> Sorry, what? But I know it can be an awkward question to the man. He has a cameo right in you, here. Sam Lee. Does he Let's look go. apart to you? <laughs> he 
looks exactly like I always imagined Casey to be. It's uncanny. Thank you. That means so much. He's in the game. What do you mean? I'm a huge fan of your books. So, uh, what's the problem, Alan? Because on more than one occasion, you voiced your reservations about the adaptations. Uh, it's not that. They're their own thing. They've gone with choices. No, he does not. He does not play Casey. Someone else plays Casey. I feel protective about my stories and these adaptations. James play or James Kerfair Curry plays I just, Casey. I just wish I could have been more involved in making them. Well, in that case, you won't have seen this either. We have a clip from the new film Murder Case Casey. Should we roll it? Which he plays Max Payne. Nah, just roll it. He doesn't play Casey. He doesn't get credit playing this Casey. City was an old scar that refused to he is he's cameoed in here. Fester. It needed the sun, but there was only the night. I was tired. See, I sent it to you. Insomnia covered me like a plastic film. I was he does not play Casey. A rain slick window. My own reflection haunted the view. I was trying to track down a missing writer. My only he did the faces, but not the voice. Lamp. Shaped like an angel. Yeah. The only thing to shed light on this sordid mystery. I mean, full fre flesh Sam Lake in the game, which is pretty cool. That's great. Like Murder cameo wise. Casey. Great job, Sam. Very exciting and very meta. I'm looking forward to seeing more. Wait, stop. What was that about a writer? About a lamp? Ugh. Here we go again. Did I make a mistake? Fuck. Try this again. Six five. Uh, I don't know. What the fuck? Five, five, six. Five, six, five. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> oh, I got it, love. I got it. Like, yeah, I got it. I got it. No bush emote. I got it. Locked. No, I don't want the bush.
so much evil that not a bit of good as well. Not one without the other. <laughs> good to see you. Looking for hey, an exit. I, I can't seem to find my way out of here. <laughs> Can you point me to the exit? <laughs> of course, Tom. The work will instruct Are you maker. Russian? I was gonna get something from the basement. That's sad to ask you, somebody if you're Russian you get it or German. Now. Uh, the more cooks, the worse the soup. <laughs> I'm sorry, have we met? Have we met before? Are you trapped in a dark place too? You remember Ahti, the janitor. You huh? can't be lost if you don't worry about where you are headed. So don't worry, Tom. The sun will shine even into a heap of twigs. Just remember to turn on the lights. It won't take long when you get to work. Okay. What do you want me to get from the basement? A and my name's Alan, not Tom. Yeah, yeah, but I got up a man's. A man, but a man with a tool makes two, Tom. Egane. <laughs> and a man with a tool can build his own exit. It's in a shoebox. In the basement where you left it. <laughs> Okay. Safe as in the Lord's purse. Here's the key. Thank you. The key. I've been trying to find a way to escape the dark place. Any suggestions? He who mouths about his troubles is the prisoner of his troubles. It's not easy to get out. But don't you worry, Tom. <laughs> the home is still there. I love how he calls me freaking Tom. I often think about it when I mop the floor and look into the puddle. Water is the memory of the world. Water finds its way. The janitor was a bit out there, but still a friendly face. I had to trust the basement would get me out of here. Yum. Oops, my bad. I meant to shut the door. There you go. Shutting the door. You do whatever you gotta do. Wait, this is backwards. Wardrobe, wardrobe, cafeteria, storage, green room. Fuck's sakes, that almost scared me.
fuck is... Damn basement. Janitor room. Seriously? Hello. Hi. Look cool that way. Locked. Could you kindly move your stupid shit out of the way, please? Okay. Cafeteria, cafeteria. I'm gonna say go straight. Take a right, go right, keep going right, keep going right, and then go straight towards here. to this scary basement. Okay, fuck. Hey, green lights. We love green lights. There was something here. Lights. We love green lights. Green lights are safe zone. Okay. TV is gonna pop out. We're still in the basement. Oh, right an old lamp and a shoebox. Oh, Jesus Christ! Was this what the janitor had left for me? Holy crap! That. The lamp felt significant. A tool for bringing light to the darkness. Is this the clucker? Oh, this can't be the clucker. I felt a magnetic pull between the lamp and the light overhead. Whoa! When the light jumped what into my the lamp, fuck? the whole room changed. Like something in a dream. Opening a way forward. Oh, there's the lamp mannequin was humming. parts. The bulb glowed. It held the light now. Maybe I have to go back over there? Oh. Okay. I felt another surge from the lamp. I could use it again. 
Oh. The Shifting the light in the room. The light carved out something new from the darkness. Exit. Okay. Oh. I needed to find another way out. <gasps> wants to draw me I'm losing myself I have to fight it I have to remember the clicker the light switch I lost it but I have the lamp now the lamp the switch was cut from this place is a nightmare not real and yet more real than anything a danger and a horror real it feeds off my mind twisting whatever it takes into psychotic reality I'm trapped here I write to escape. I've tried this many times, written countless stories, mm -hmm. forgotten how many. I keep failing, but I must keep trying. I use the story to dive deeper. Every word I write is a step forward on this spiral in the darkness. I dive to Jesus the Jesus Christ, there's a lot of TVs. The map, and the key, and the compass. That's combined to form a door leading out. But how do you open a door that's not a door? At the bottom of an ocean, that's not an ocean, and a lake. That's not a show. That's the end of around four. After four? Yes. Casey, say hello to Alan Wade. Mr. Wade, this is special 